Hello everyone! In this video, we'll learn how to create an awesome animated button in Figma. Let's get started. First, let's create the button label. And press Shift A to apply auto layout. Set the padding to 16 for example. Let's add an icon. I properly use the Iconify plugin, which is great for accessing icon libraries. Adjust the icon size to match the text height. Let's change the padding between the icon and the text to 5 pixels. Move the icon to the left and change its color to the white. Let's make the height 46 pixels. And set the border radius to 100 pixels to give it smooth rounded edges. Next, we'll add a fill and change the color to something like this. This is great. Let's set the opacity to be like this. And we will add a background blur effect to it. Something like 30 pixels. Now, let's rename the frame to label. Press shift to add another auto layout. Make the margin like 2 pixels. Rename the new frame as a button. Apply a fill color, set the border radius to 100 pixels. Let's work on the background color. Set it gradient with angular style. We'll move this color to the top and add three colors more on the left side. And as you see now, we have one side will be dark blue and the other side will be more vibrant and colorful. Adjust the colors until it looks just right. Once that's done, let's convert the button into a component and create variants for the animation. We'll add four variations. Now we will play with the gradient color rotation to get our animation. The first one will stay as is. Let's start with the second one. Click on fill and rotate the colors by clicking on this icon. Let's scale the color circle to fit the button. Go to the next one and rotate it to the right. The last one will rotate it to the bottom and scale the color circle to fit the button. Now let's go to prototype and select the first one. Change the trigger to after delay. Set the delay to 1 millisecond, make the animation smart, and set the curve as custom bezier like this. Repeat the same action for the others. We'll connect the last one with the first one to make the animation loop. Let's copy the first one and create a frame to test it out. And click on play prototype. Great, it's working. Press this to fit the button on the screen. It looks smooth and cool. Let's add more details. Go to the design mode. Duplicate the frame. Set the margin to be 0. Align the button to be centered and make the background of the label slightly transparent. Now go to prototype and set the trigger as while hovering and the animation smart. Let's scale this button a little bit to be like this and change the icon color to yellow for example. Let's try it out. Wow, it looks perfect. That's it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more design tips. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.